Hello friends, Tony here. So in the previous video, we worked with this uh, example. We copied this from the Laravel. We create this router route get welcome slash local, and we check if it's not in the array the local en or yes. We're going to abort. Otherwise, we're going to say here app set local to what the local is. So for example, yes here, and it's going to say the Laravel set local to yes, and then the Laravel is going to translate what we have in the welcome. So let's go to the welcome here. So welcome dot welcome, which is going to see in the lang and the local is yes, and in the welcome here is going to translate to this one and also the name this color to this one. Now, if you go to the Apple website, so apple.com, by default, we have the United States as a region. Yeah, and we are in the United States and it is English as a local. So if I change that to something else, so for example, uh, go here, we have ES and we have Spanish translated to Spanish. And then, so the first uh, segment of the URL is going to be the local, ES in this case, and then the other, so for example, here we have Mac. And the same thing I want to do in our project. Okay, so the first segment is going to be the local and then something else. Right now we have 404, so let's go and work with that. Uh, for that, I'm going to, instead of passing the logic in the route, I'm going to create a new middleware. So let's come here and let's say artisan make middleware, hit enter, give it the name, and I'm going to name it uh, localization. Hit enter. Let's close, and now let's open the localization middleware, and here, before we return to the next request, what I'm going to do, I'm going to say, use the app, or we can say app like this, but I prefer to use the app helper method and say set local. Okay, so the same thing we have here, just here we use the app facade, and in here I'm going to use the method app set local, and I'm going to use the request, not get, but the request segment. And I want the first segment. App set local is going to set the local to what the first segment is. In this case, is ES. Okay. Now you can go and register this in the kernel.php, so this uh, middleware. If I open the kernel.php, yeah, here, for example, let's register. I'm going to register as a local, or you can say localization, like this. Or I prefer to use the class. So now in the web PHP, I'm going to remove this, and I'm going to create a new route and I'm going to pass all that in that route where we are going, I'm going to add the prefix for the local, okay? So all the routes is going to have this uh, prefix. And let's do that, let's say route. Use the prefix and here I'm going to say local and use the middleware, and the middleware is localization. Okay, and this is going to be group, because we are going to add all the, the routes in here. We're going to add the closure. And let's close this and let's move all the routes we have right now in here. Let's save. So it's going to indent for us. And yeah, we have the route for the dashboard, route for the profile, and the out PHP here. 
let's also create the route for the welcome and I'm going to say route a view us view here and when we navigate to the slash I want to display the welcome view not welcome but HTML but just a welcome and let's save now if I come here and refresh as you can see we have translation in ES in the Spanish because we have ES here but if we change the EN we have that in the English okay very good now let's go to for example EN login login here and yeah we have missing a required parameter for the route login or local so in the method in the form method post we use the action and route login for that if you go to laravel so let's open the laravel documentation and urls default values now for some application you may wish to specify request wide default values for certain URL parameters. For example, imagine many of your routes define a local parameter. In this case, we have the same. Okay. And it is cumbersome to all the way past the local every time you call the route helper. For that, we have the error. So in every route, we call the URL, the local. So you may use the you are a default method to define a default value for this parameter that will always be applied during the current request. And here we have the example, you are a defaults, pass in the local and say here, request user local. So let's copy this. Here we are in the set default local for URLs, but I'm going to pass that in our middleware. So let's say here, and import this URL. So URL defaults local instead of request user local, I'm going to say request and use the segment. The first one, so we're going to get the local from the request segment. Okay, now if I save this and let's close this also and refresh. Yeah, we navigate to the login and also if we go to the register here, yeah. And now we are in the en slash register and we have this translated to English. But uh, as in the ES, I created this uh, out.php with just the register and I translated that to Spanish, so name, email, password, and password confirmation. If we navigate now to the slash es slash register, we translate that number Spanish. Okay, also we need to translate the already registered. So let's go to register blade and something like this. So I'm going to use now this save this first and open now the register blade and in here let's say auth dot register dot and pass in that key save come here close this and refresh now yeah yeah now we need to translate also the button and let's go to auth php one more time and say a register which is going to be like this. Save this close and now also one more time we use the auth dot register dot register. Save this come here refresh and now we have a registro here okay now one more thing i want to do in this video is if i navigate the home page like this 
we have 404 not found and we have this 404 not found because we don't have the local first uh, segment for that what we need is a go in the web php and let me just remove this one and i'm going to register a new route and if we don't have the first segment i'm going to redirect and add that segment okay so let's say a route get so when we navigate to the slash and i'm going to use the callback so function and i'm going to say return redirect and for example let's say redirect and pass in the en here which means we are going to redirect to the slash en okay so if i say that and refresh this yeah we navigate a slash en but for example if uh, we don't have the en as a default language but we have a uh, spanish so let's open the app.php inside the configuration file so instead of en we have es here let's save and let's come here and refresh so if i hit enter yeah we navigate to the slash en but in our uh, app php we set the local to yes so we need to have uh, spanish here what we can do is to go to the app and instead of returning a redirect passing the en here we're going to pass the app helper method and use not set but get local and now it's going to get what we pass in here and it's going to pass here so in this case now we have es it's going to be es in here let's try one more time if i hit enter yeah we navigate to the slash es one more time yeah and if we type en yeah okay also es slash register yeah we navigate the es slash register and we have the translation here okay friends that's it all about uh, this video i hope you enjoy and see you in the next one all the best thank you very much